we have seen uh, the Indians do exactly that more recently, as they did as it relates to the uh, horrific photos that we saw around Busha. We've seen them take steps to provide humanitarian assistance and a range of assistance, but it is something we always encourage leaders to do, uh, to speak out, to be vocal, uh, to uh, ensure they are on the right side of history. But this was a constructive call. It was a productive call. Um, it was It's a, a relationship that is vitally important to the United States and to the President. I would not see it as an adversarial call. Uh, the President both conveyed that we are here to help them diversify. Uh, their means of uh, importing oil. Again, our, the imports from the United States are already significant, uh, for, or much bigger than the imports that they get from Russia. Uh, and we, of course, the President uh, conveyed very clearly that it is not in their interest to increase that. But beyond that, I would let the uh, Indian leaders speak for themselves. I would say uh, building more than 50 percent, far more than 50 percent of the world's GDP into a global coalition is hardly a failure. I don't think anyone would call that a failure. Um, but what India has done to date, and our objective, and part of the objective of a phone call like this is to have a diplomatic conversation to build on this, right? Recognizing that uh, countries go at different paces in uh, taking steps to uh, support countries like Ukraine. What, what, uh, what India has done to date is they have condemned the killings of civilians in Bucha. Uh, so they, they have supported, they've called, they've supported calls for an independent investigation. They've provided over 90 tons of humanitarian relief material to Ukraine and its neighbors to include medicine and other essential relief. Earlier in the conflict, they also used its resources to evacuate almost 150 foreign nationals for 18 different countries. So part of our objectives now is to build on that and to encourage them to do more. And that's why it's important to have leader-to-leader -leader conversations.